Hi everyone, behind me is my 130 PDS Newtonian scope by Skywatcher. This is one of my favourite scopes. It's actually also my cheapest scope. But today's video is going to be about some modifications and accessories I've bought for the scope to improve it. And I'm also going to share some pictures I've taken with the scope. And hopefully by the end of the video you'll agree that for the money you can't get much better than this. The Skywatcher 130 PDS is an excellent choice as a budget scope for astrophotography. It has a focal length of 650mm and an f-stop of f5. The scope weighs around 4kg and the only difference between this and the 130p is it's slightly shorter which allows focusing a lot easier with a DSLR, in fact you only need a T-ring and you can then attach it to the SLR and just start taking images. The other difference is this has a dual speed focuser with a 1 to 10 ratio. This will allow you to really dial in that focus and make any fine adjustments you need. The scope's really easy to use and takes fantastic pictures. In fact, I would say that this scope punches way above its price tag. I'm going to show you a few images now that I've captured with this uh, scope. And then I'm going to go through some modifications and additions that I've made to it to uh, just improve it and make it the best scope it can be. I love the images that this scope manages to capture and it makes me one of my favourite scopes to use. But now I'm going to move on to the modifications that I made and share with you the changes that I've made to the scope. One of the first upgrades I did was to replace the uh, top ring that you put your imaging train into. It just has two screws that bite in either side here and I actually found that this was causing a certain amount of tilt so um, it literally unscrews from the top of the tube and I've replaced it with one with a brass ring inside which basically just gives more even pressure all the way around and is less likely to cause you tilt in your uh, imaging tray so that was one of the first changes I made and uh, wasn't, wasn't expensive at all One thing I did find with this uh, focuser was that sometimes it would slip, especially if you've got a heavy camera and imaging train attached. I did look at upgrading the focuser, but they were proving to be either hard to source or quite expensive. An actual cheaper option, and has added loads to the uh, usability of this scope, was to actually add an electronic automatic focuser. Um, it's very simple to fit and it, it's made a massive difference. It, it holds everything uh, in place and uh, I now do mono imaging, so that's kind of like essential with the filter changes. It makes the focus changes for me and it works, in a, it works p perfectly. It's a really good add-on and I highly recommend it. I do have a video of the installation of this automatic focuser and I'll put a link here so that you can look at that if you wish. Um, it's very simple to fit and makes a, a, a huge improvement to the scope. The Skywatcher comes with um, a saddle for a finder scope. I use this mainly for astrophotography so I changed the uh, saddle for one with two screws. These can be sourced off of eBay or Amazon and they'll hold a guide scope a lot squarer and firmer and you can get a guide scope just with a little shoe there that fits nicely 
and then once that's done up you've got the scope on your 130 PDS and that will keep that nice and accurate when guiding. For collimation the original scope has these grub screws which I've removed and replaced with a product known as Bob's Knobs. Um, I'll put a link in the description. They literally just replace those three grub screws and they do help make collimation a lot easier. The back of the scope for the primary mirror already has thumb screws in place so you just end up with thumb screws front and back and as I say it just helps make collimating the scope really easy. With a Newtonian scope one consideration is you may need a coma corrector so you don't get egg shaped stars at the end of your field of view um, you add one of these to your imaging train. Uh, the Bader MPCC Mark III is about £135 um, and you need, uh, once you add it to your imaging train, you need a 55mm back focus to your sensor um, but it does uh, give you really nice shaped stars so um, it is worth the, worth the money especially if you're going to use your scope for astrophotography. A modification I made for this scope was a uh, dew shield. I just made this out of some foam card and a vinyl wrap with some uh, velcro strips that I just ordered off of uh, Amazon. Uh, not expensive and quite easy to make. And I just put a uh, dew strap over the end of the scope uh, just to give a heat source there and also help secure the uh, shield in place. And I find that this works really well and keeps all of the dew away from the secondary mirror and I've not had any dew issues at all and um, this is a worthwhile modification. So the 130 PDS comes with a smallish dovetail bar as standard. I was kind of forced into changing this because I bought an ADM saddle for my EQ6R Pro and it's a much larger saddle base and uh, with the bolts in this uh, dovetail it wouldn't sit in the new saddle so I had to change it anyway so rather than just getting a larger dovetail bar I decided to go for a lost mandy plate because it's a much sturdier mount or plate should I say to support the scope and so this should give the scope a nice the scope rings a nice uh, sturdy base and hold the scope much firmer so I've not tested it out yet, but once I get this on, um, hopefully it will be nice and sturdy and uh, it might give some improvements, it might not, I don't know, but uh, it was an upgrade I had to do anyway and uh, I thought I'd share this with you as it was a modification I made to the scope. But for me, the most essential upgrade for any astrophotographer is a good coffee machine. I do hope that the video today has been of some help and that you found it interesting. It's a brilliant scope, I highly recommend it. If you can get hold of one, do it. I don't think you'll be disappointed. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer them for you. And it's really cold out here, so I think I'm just gonna wish you all clear skies and go and get warm. Cheers.